And good Tuesday afternoon. Welcome to this week's edition of Ask a Lawyer on Facebook Live. I'm attorney Michael Bender. And I'm attorney Allison Tilton, and we are the Gray Legal Group. Feels like that's something we should say in unison here. <laughs> the information in this video is for general information purposes only. <laughs> Nothing should be taken as legal advice for any individual case or situation. Do you need me to take over for you? The information uh, in this video is not intended to create, and the receipt the receipt or viewing does not constitute an attorney-client relationship. Definitely, definitely tell that this is live. Okay, we're going to jump right into the questions today. First question we've got is, what can I do if my wife will not submit final divorce papers? My wife filed for divorce four years ago and told me not to contest it so it will go by faster. I found out our case is still open and now she refuses to submit final papers to the court. We don't have any kids or property together. I want to remarry. What options do I have? Well, in this situation, it sounds like you, you never filed a response, never actively participated in the case. Now, you got two issues here. One, a default could be taken any time, but it sounds like your wife doesn't want to go ahead and do that. Uh, but two, after five years, if nothing's been done on the case, the court's going to dismiss it anyways. So you've got, it sounds like, maybe less than a year to go ahead and take action on this if you want to go ahead and bring it to a conclusion. Can't force her to take your default, but you can now actively participate. What I recommend doing is going ahead and filing a response in the case. If there's no kids, no property, and so forth, you can get the wheels going to uh, get a settlement conference or even push it to trial. Uh, basically, move the case along. Um, uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to be too much of an issue once you go ahead and file a response. Sounds like um, once you get in front of the judge, explain what's going on at a settlement conference, you'll probably be able to resolve it pretty quickly there. Uh, but also, you can keep that line of communication open with your uh, with your wife and try and uh, try and get her to uh, uh, to resolve the case uh, amicably, sign settlement papers, and just go ahead and file it with the uh, with the court. But you now have to actively do something with the court. That's what I would uh, recommend doing. All right, sounds good. Uh, the issue that I've got before uh, before you guys today has to do with property. Uh, the question is, don't both parties have to sign to cash a 401k? If he gives me some of the money, does that count as support? Our underlying, my husband took money out of his 401k and says that is, and, um, my husband took money out of his 401k and says that, my, is, do I need to take over is, for you? This is missing some words. My husband took money out of his 401k and says that is, that is, Right, that is what he is using to pay me support. Uh, he says, once it's gone, I don't get any money from him. Okay, so um, there's a couple questions in here. Um, the first issue is don't parties have to sign to cash out a 401k? Um, a 401k is property. Uh, it's If the 401k, there was contributions to the 401k during the marriage, the contributions are community property as well as the um, earnings and losses on those investments in the 401k. The 401k should be used in the property division of the divorce case, not for purposes of support. Um, with regards to cashing out that 401k, uh, generally, yes, both parties would have to agree to a cash out of a 401k to take a loan out of a 401k, any type of distribution from a 401k while the divorce is pending um, because there are what are called the automatic family law restraining orders or ATROs that you sometimes hear about and those are issued in the summons. And that says that all the property has to stay status quo. So the only exception to cashing out a 401k or taking some funds from that would be for necessities of life or for attorney's fees. If the parties agree to um, take some money out, then, then they can do that. But I would recommend that you get written authorization from the other, from the other side. What, what you can do to essentially stop the cashing out of the 401k is you can tell the plan administrator that you have a pending divorce case. Um, you send them what's called a notice of adverse claim, and you let them know that you've got this divorce pending and you're putting a hold on the account, and therefore you can't take any, any money out. Um, with regards to paying your support from the 401k, um, if he's got the 401k in his possession, he can, he can pay support from whatever funds, but he is going to be responsible to reimburse the community for your portion of the 401k. Um, so no, he can't just use that money to pay your support. He's supposed to be using current income to to pay the support or you know, some other money he's got from some other gambling winnings, uh, lottery winnings, I mean, whatever it is. You can use whatever money, but um, it's that, that, that would be property. 
Um, and he says once it's gone, I don't get any money from him. Um, no, like I mentioned before, um, he's going to need to reimburse the community. So whatever your portion of the 401k was um, in the property division, it's going to get added back in. and He's going to likely owe you an equalization payment for that amount. Uh, I think that about answers all those questions. Anything to add? No, I think you had the more complicated one <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, well, that's going to go. Ahead. That's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks for joining us on Ask a Lawyer. Join us each week as we discuss family law issues important to our community. If you have a legal question or topic you'd like us to address, go to thegreatlegalgroup.com and click on Ask a Lawyer. We'll see you next Tuesday.